Hello, hello. I think I'm going live here. I'm actually going live on uh, my personal page, I think, and over here on my Living Healthy List page. Yep, looks like I'm live in both places. So I am really excited to be here today. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, I hope you're having a great Wednesday, wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday hump day. Um, question of the week. Do you want to be happier, healthier, wealthier? And do you want to live a more exciting and interesting and fulfilling life? Don't question, right? Of course you do. We all do. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Denise Stegall. I am the founder, CEO, and curator, um, aka editor, of Living Healthy List uh, at livinghealthylist.com, where we provide you with honest and reliable information on health and wellness and personal development and how to bring some fun back into your life. And we do that um, with uh, our, through our different experts um, who are all experts in their areas of health, wellness, personal development, and fun. Uh, so definitely, you know, if, you, if you're new to Living Healthy List, check out our website. Uh, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of stuff going on because we know when it comes to, you know, living a healthy lifestyle, all those pieces really matter. So June is Men's Health Month, and I know I've been talking about that the last couple of weeks. Um, and so in honor of the guys in my life and the guys in your life, um, I'm taking a little bit of a tweak to what I usually talk about, because most of the time I'm talking to women, and I know that. Um, when it comes to being the caregiver and the, the person kind of in the home that's, you know, that's making sure that people are getting to, you know, eating right and getting to their doctor's appointments and taking care of themselves, more than likely, it is the woman in the house. Um, sometimes it's the guy, sometimes it's the dad. I will give you that. And uh, hopefully, those are the guys that are catching uh, me live and are on Living Healthy List um, to uh, to learn and grow and to be happier and healthier and wealthier. So obviously, you know, we want to be happier and healthier, and obviously, so do the men in our lives. Just because we want more doesn't mean they don't want more. Of course, they want more. And, and that's not to say that life isn't good right now. Um, I mean, my life is good. I can't complain. One, I'm in Minnesota and it's sunny. It's not raining and it's not snowing. So I'm pretty excited about that. I have a nice house. I've got an amazing husband. Uh, typically we travel. Mm, we're not doing that right now. But life is good. But it doesn't mean that it can't get a little bit better. And so what do we do? Um, how do we do that? How do we make it better? So, um, what I did for Men's Health Month, and you'll start to notice this if you go on the website, you'll see um, some of the new blog posts. Um, I interviewed some different experts. What makes them different? Um, well, they're experts because they're knowledgeable, they're experienced, um, you know, they really are professionals in their field. But what makes them different is they're all men. I spent a lot of time preparing and, and, and interviewing guys. Um, interviewing guys is really different than interviewing women. Um, we talk different. We ex have different expectations. Uh, but I assure you, each of these conversations was really, really fun. Um, last Wednesday, no, no, sorry, last Tuesday, uh, there was a conversation. I had a conversation with three experts, uh, and I have to look to see what that is called. Um, mm, 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 mm. It is called, there's an interview. The interview is on our Facebook, no, 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 not on our Facebook page, on the website, and it's called A Different Perspective to Men's Health. Check it out because it's an interview with three different experts in, um, in men's health, so that's definitely cool. But today we're talking about wanting to be happier, healthier, and to live a more fulfilled life. I mean, I think that's what we're all really searching for. So when it comes to the guys in our life, you know, we want to make sure that they're doing things that can help them get to that next level. Um, and the gentleman that I that I interviewed um, for this particular conversation, um, he is a comedy hypnotist. Um, he's been a DJ, um, but he's actually and now he's the author of the book called Mind Hacking Happiness. And what he uh, in our conversation. Um, Watch that interview. It's really fun. It's called um, I Can Probably Do That, an interview, uh, Mind Hacking with Matt Hale. Um, and basically what he tells me is, you know, with hypnosis, you know, it's all about, you know, my, like working how the mind works. So 
you know, I'm not a hypnotist, I'm not a psychoanalyst, but I do know that there are certain things that we can do to kind of hack our way to happiness and to ha hack our way um, to that next level. So, um, what do we, how do we do that? So, happiness is a choice. Um, everybody kind of thinks like, you know, they're born into circumstances and that's kind of what it is. But it really is a mindset. So if you hack your mindset, you can hack your happiness. And seriously, you have the ability to change how you think, how you feel. And the way you think very often is the way you feel, or the way you feel is the way you think. So it kind of goes back and forth. Obviously, you feel like in, inside, not necessarily if you have pain. Um, but this, these are things that we need to make sure that the guys in our life, that they know that, that, you know, the way they think. And, you know, sometimes, you know, as we get older, we kind of get stuck in our in a mindset that, you know, maybe is beneficial, maybe is not beneficial. Um, I know, for example, with Mark, you know, he's, you know, he's pretty pliable, but there are certain things that, you know, he's kind of set on. Um, like, for one, meditation is not exactly what he's interested in. He does something, what he thinks is, what he calls like his meditation time. And for him, it's that time in the morning to just kind of spend quietly, you know, usually I'm in the other room doing my meditation in my morning routine and he's, you know, um, writing or um, writing down ideas, usually that he's gotten throughout the night. Um, his mind doesn't take turn off. So let's talk about the hacks that we can help our guys with. And they're actually really simple things. Some of them we can actually do for them. Um, but it really is, these are really simple things. And you're going to kind of go, really, Denise? That's it? These things work. These tactics work. Okay, so number one, hack your thoughts. Okay, that's what we're talking about, hacking our thoughts. Um, a friend of mine and one of the experts that, we, that, I, that I interviewed in the um, men's health um, conversation we had last week, um, his name is Michael Gross. And in Michael's book, one of the things that he talks about when he's, you know, when he's, um, when a negative thought comes his way or, you know, whether it's a negative thing or if it's a judgmental thing, he stops and he stops and says, cancel, cancel, delete, delete, cancel, cancel, delete, delete. So just to cancel that horrible thought, that negative thought, that negative feeling, just cancel it out of your mind. You think it, okay, fine. You know, sometimes you can't help when things come your way but you don't have to continue to think it. Just by saying cancel, cancel, delete, delete, I don't know why, but it works. And then, uh, this is the next step, and so this is a step one, step two, I guess, um, but it doesn't have to be. Cancel, cancel, delete, delete can be used on its own. This next thing, and this is something that I learned from um, Gabrielle Bernstein, um, if you've ever read any of her books. Um, she's, really, she's really great when it comes to spirituality and um, connecting with the universe and um, the law of attraction, basically. And so her, one of the things that I learned from her that I do on a pretty regular basis is called choose again. It's the choose again method. You have a thought, um, and it's not a good thought, it's not a happy thought, it's not a positive thought, um, it's negative. You could do cancel, cancel, delete, delete. Or you can just simply choose to make a different um, thought, choose to have another thought. So for example, um, you, you have a negative thought that comes your way. Um, say it's, you know, somebody walks by you and you're thinking, what the heck are they wearing? Like what on earth, they would, you know, didn't they look in the mirror? We've all said it. I don't know, who, I don't care who you are. We have all said it, you know, maybe not out loud, but to ourselves. But that's so negative. I mean, like talk about like being judgmental. Um, but it really is a negative thing and we don't want to be negative. So, okay, so what's that next, what's that more positive thought? What's that choose again thought? Maybe it's, oh, that person, um, they have a style of their own. They're unique. Those are much more positive than what the heck is she wearing? And I'm sure that there have been times in my life where people have said about me, what the heck is she wearing? Um, hopefully not since I uh, would have been in my 20s, but before that, you know, the 80s were kind of um, hit or miss when it comes to clothes. So um, cancel, cancel, delete, delete, and choose again. I love choose again because it really does right away bring you to that, from that negative to that positive. And it's such an easy way to hack your mindset. 
And, you know, when you are not, when you're judgmental, you kind of bring yourself down, your feelings, you know, you can't be happy if you're judgmental. It just doesn't work. Um, you can't have these two conflicting, you know, happiness and, you know, judgmental is kind of unhappiness. You can't have both at the same time. It's one or the other. Um, so that's the second one. This is something that, um, that I've learned from um, Mel Robbins. Um, she has a book called 54321. I've actually never read the book. I have it upstairs in uh, next to my bed. And I've read the first, maybe I've read the first couple of chapters. But the concept, I absolutely love the concept of this. Um, and so I've been doing this myself um, the last few weeks. And well, it's kind of, kind of cool. Um, mostly because it makes you act. So the 54321, I've, I've done this uh, for a couple of different things. One, it helps you to act upon something or not act upon something. So, okay, so again, we'll use the, the lady who's walked by with some crazy outfit um, and you want to say something or you want to say something negative, um, but, you know, rather than saying anything out loud, you just five, four, three, two, one, you know, count from five backwards to one. And then you make the decision. Do you say something? Do you not? In those five seconds, you'll probably realize that mm, it's probably not worth saying anything. And so when one, you don't look stupid, you haven't made the person feel bad, um, and you can actually move on in a more positive way. So I like that a lot. Um, when it comes to making decisions, I found this is really happy too. How often do you kind of, you know, do you not make a decision on something? And not making a decision is actually a decision. Um, and maybe it's not the right one. So, you know, you're kind of vacillating. Should I do this? Should I do that? You know, what, what, what should I really do? The five, four, three, two, one. So you've come across this, this, you have a decision you need to make. And rather than, you know, making a jump decision or a quick decision, you want to think about it for, you know, just five seconds. And in those five seconds, you will know what the right choice is. You'll just feel it. Um, and again, it's making a choice as opposed to not making a choice. It's, you know, making, taking a stand rather than not taking a stand and sitting quietly. Um, it's, you know, connecting to the person, um, you know, online that you want to connect with. For example, I know I have somebody who I want to connect to um, for, pers or for professional reasons. And, you know, I'm a little nervous. Um, but I know when I'm going to be sitting at my desk, short, you know, shortly, and I am actually at my desk. I'm just at the corner of my desk because this looks better than the other, <laughs> than the other corner of my office. But I know I'm going to do 54321 and pick up the phone. I hope so. That's going to make my choice. If I don't pick up the phone, I'm going to lose out. But it does help you to make the decision. And when you make good decisions, when you're making when you're making decisions and you're making good decisions, that really does help you um, to find that happier, healthier, and wealthier life. Um, connecting with this person could actually help my business. So that's a pretty good idea, right? Um, the next one is just called the one minute meditation. And I know I said before, guys really aren't, most guys aren't into meditation. Um, as the years have gone on, I do find that more and more men are, um, finding meditation useful. Um, and whatever they, whatever it takes for them to, um, to take, basically take a few minutes to just sit quietly, you know, get rid of all of the crazy thoughts in your head and to basically just breathe. So in a one minute meditation, um, really all I um, have done, and this is something that I learned uh, a couple of years ago um, from an older gentleman um, who basically, his family said he needed to chill out. And so instead of, like he tried to go to yoga, he tried to do meditation and it just wasn't working for him. You know, he was an older man, you know, sitting on the floor just wasn't, you know, for him. And so the instructor um, was really insightful and she just said to him, Let's just put you here in this comfy chair. And I just want you for one minute just to breathe in and breathe out for one minute. Clear your head. Just breathe. And she said, any time during the day where you when you're, you know, kind of getting bombarded with things, you got a lot of ideas going on. Um, just take the time out to do this one minute, one minute meditation. Call it one minute meditation. Call it one minute. Breathe. Call it one minute time out. I like using that when I'm talking to guys because they get that, especially guys who are uh, dads of young kids. They get the timeout um, or sports, you know, or, or, or into sports, you know, like, hello, timeout. 
Um, and I think that is, I think it's one of the best things that you can do. It's similar to the 54321, but this is just a little bit more taking back and taking the time to just kind of readjust, you know, and, and kind of understand like where you are um, in, in the thought process. You know, are you stressed? I mean, we all have stress, you know, no matter what our lives, you know, whatever's going on in our lives, we all have some stress. But sometimes we just let that stress kind of um, bombard us and just taking one minute at a time, a few times a day can really help you to reassess and to better understand who you are, how you're feeling, um, and to move forward uh, in a more positive way. And again, it's, uh, you know, to be happy and healthy and wealthy, it is about positivity. Negativity does cannot work. And again, you know, it, it's, it's those um, conflicting things. You can't be happy, healthy, and wealthy and live a fulfilled life if you're unhappy and you're miserable and you're grumpy. It just doesn't work that way. You can't have, you know, it doesn't work. It's one or the other. And so, yeah, at times, you know, you're not going to be in the best of moods. But if you are focused on being happy and healthy and positive on a more, um, more often, that's how you find that, um, that sweet spot and find that um, exciting, interesting, fulfilled life that you are looking for. And the last one, so let me just follow. So the first one was cancel, cancel, delete, delete. Choose again, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The one minute timeout. Morning, Annette. Uh, and so number five. So all of you who know me, know me well, um, know that my background is, um, is nutrition, is food and nutrition. So number five hack. And... I struggled to say uh, this is number five. I really wanted to make this number one uh, because I think this is one of the most important pieces of living a happy, healthy life, uh, fulfilled lifestyle. Number one, eat real food. Hack your diet. How simple is that? Hack your diet. Most of us are running around eating stuff um, that normally just doesn't, that you really wouldn't eat on a typical basis if you had the time and you were being thoughtful. So by hacking your diet, you know, I really just mean eating real food. I talk about this all the time. It's one of the three pillars of success when it comes for living healthy lists. Eat real food, make good choices, and be accountable. Eat real food is essential for your happiness. It's obviously essential for your health. If you're healthy and you're happy and you're positive, that wealthy piece comes, it just happens. You know, because you're making good decisions, you're um, being accountable for things, and all of this positivity. Positivity brings positivity. So when I, what I want you to do with eating your real food, I want you to eat your rainbow, eat all the fruits and veggies of all different colors. Um, I want you to eat good fats. Um, you know, avocados. I love avocados. Yeah, they're high in calories, but they're so high in so much good nutrition. And let's be real, um, you know, you can't eat a lot of avocados because they're really heavy, but a half an avocado in a salad, oh my gosh, I had avocado, I have a quarter of an avocado in my, um, with my eggs this morning. Um, so this morning I woke up, I was really hungry, and so I had eggs, I had some protein, I had avocado, there's my healthy fats, and I had berries, and there's my carb. So I kind of covered everything, and it was a delicious meal. It's something that I would eat. It's real food. Um, you know, how often are you just kind of, you know, running out the door and you have, you know, a protein bar or you have a shake and I love my shakes. I mean, I do a protein shake probably once, mm, probably once a day. Um, usually I use them as a, a meal replacement as I'm doing things. Um, especially if I'm trying to <laughs> lose a couple of pounds, um, which it seems at, uh, this middle age stage that seems to be, um, kind of consistent, <laughs> Um, but what else? Nuts. Um, eat your nuts and nuts and seeds. They are high in um, your omegas. Um, they're high in fat, good fat. They're high in protein. Um, and then this is a big one. Eat your fish. I know people are like, ah. if you look at my Facebook page um, from the other day, I made this amazing um, red snapper, salt crusted red snapper. It was absolutely delicious. Um, and it's not fishy. That's what I love about red snapper. But why do I want you to eat your fish? I want you to eat fish once or twice a week because the omega-3s 
in fish oil are basically brain food. And if your brain is nourished, guess what? You're thinking clearer, you're making good decisions, um, you're being accountable, so you can live that happy, happier, healthier, wealthier life that you are, um, that really that you're striving for. Again, lots of things, um, there are lots of ways that you can, you know, find happiness, find happiness. No, you have to create the happiness within you. And these five hacks, these five mind hacks can really help you along the way. Sorry, my phone keeps uh, blowing up over here. So I want you to understand this. You get to write your story when it comes to how happy you are, how healthy you are, how wealthy you are. And wealth doesn't necessarily need to be, you know, financial, but it's most of the time. Um, you know, the bringing that excitement into your life and that intrigue into your life. You get to write that. You get to do that. And you can only do that when you have a positive, happy mindset. Happiness is a choice. It's not a chance. So I'm going to leave you with that one. Till next time, um, make health happen, win wellness, learn something new every day, and have fun doing it. I'm Denise Siegel with Living Healthy List, and I'll see you again next time. Bye. If I can find out how to, there we go.